Luigi's Di Italia was featured in Season 5, Episode 4 of Kitchen Nightmares. It's an Italian restaurant located in Anaheim, California, and it's run by Luigi, who's also the chef, and his brother Tony, who works as a server. The two brothers actually inherited the restaurant from their dad after he decided to move back to Italy, but since they've been running it on their own, things have not been going as well. We see in the intro piece that there is a lot of arguing that goes on between the owners Luigi, Tony, and Grace, who is Luigi's wife and a server. Especially Grace. We see a shot of her screaming at customers, presumably over some kind of complaint about the food, and when I say screaming, I mean screaming. She ultimately yells at them to get out, and says f*** you on the way out, just for good measure. The irony of her name being Grace is not lost on me. After that, Gordon shows up and meets Luigi. He asks Luigi why the really good review on his restaurant website says he's 22 when he's clearly not, and Luigi explains that it's because that review was written back in 1981. It turns out that there haven't been any articles written about the business since 1991, which isn't a good sign. But before he tries the food, Gordon sits down with the family members to ask them why they think the restaurant is failing, and the conversation quickly devolves into everyone trying to blame each other for the restaurant's problems. Grace and Luigi blame Tony for being lazy, and Tony claims that customers don't want to come to the restaurant when Grace is there. Gordon asks Grace, what's that all about? And Grace says, I don't know, in a really pissed off tone. And Gordon is like, uh, I I'm just asking. Tony says that Grace fights with the customers and has told them to go f*** themselves in the past, which we just saw an example of not a few minutes before. Grace literally goes from 0 to 100 in 0.2 seconds and screams at Tony, No, I don't say that! I'm not even trying to be funny or anything, but in my non-professional, non-medical opinion, I think Grace might have some kind of bipolar disorder. Like, if that's not bipolar disorder, then what is? At multiple points throughout the episode, she goes from smiling and being super normal and chill to 10 out of 10 rage and screaming in a heartbeat. And when I say screaming, I don't mean normal normal yelling that people do when they're arguing. I mean screaming as loud as she possibly can. She goes on a screaming rant directed at Tony and even stands up and smacks the table in anger. That's how you know she's serious. They yell at each other for a minute or two, but you really can't discern what happened to cause all the anger from their incoherent arguing. And the whole time, Gordon is just sitting there with this expression on his face. The look of a man who's just realized that he made a terrible mistake. After about a minute of that, Grace turns to Gordon and says, you tell, I did it right or I did it wrong. And Gordon is just like, I I'm just trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> and then Luigi starts screaming at Tony, and after another minute or so of that, Gordon finally sits down to try the food. He tries the fried ravioli and doesn't like it. It turns out that it's frozen and purchased pre-made. He also tries their mahi-mahi and their pescatori, and no surprise, he doesn't like either of those either. Luigi, the owner and chef, says in a cutaway, my food is the best food that's possibly made. And he later said, I absolutely think he's wrong about the mahi-mahi, and I thought it was perfectly fine. It was just the way it's supposed to be. Luigi's brother Tony is more reasonable, and he tries to tell Luigi that Gordon probably knows what he's talking about, and that Luigi needs to listen to his advice. But Luigi's response is basically, Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh your opinion, man. In another cutaway, Luigi says, I don't need a guy to tell me that my food sucks. If you don't like the food, then get the fuck out of here. But that's exactly what the customers have done, good sir. <laughs> Next, Gordon meets with Luigi and the other staff in the kitchen to critique the food. He tells Luigi that his food is bad, but Luigi refuses to accept and gives all the usual excuses. I've been doing this for 30 years, no one's ever complained, people love my food. You can't tell me my food's bad. That tumbleweed rolled in here two weeks ago and it has not left since. My food must be good. Next is the part of the show where Gordon observes a typical dinner service. During the service, the food comes out of the kitchen extremely fast, but apparently not good because the dishes keep getting sent back to the kitchen. Luigi does not handle the criticism well, and he starts screaming at his staff, which everyone in the small restaurant seems to be able to hear. Gordon goes over to talk to him, but they end up arguing, and Luigi gets pissed off and walks off the line. Tony then goes outside after him and manages to convince Luigi to come back inside. And then Gordon takes Luigi out to the restaurant's sign which reads, The best Italian food west of Italy. The implication being that their sign is wrong. But Luigi argues back and says, It's still the best food west of Italy. You can put your food against mine anytime you want. I've worked with more chefs than you can imagine in the past. 
In the next scene, Gordon gets Luigi, Grace, Tony, and his wife together for another Kitchen Nightmares staple, secretly recording the employees while they complain about their bosses and letting the bosses watch. Well, I say secretly, but they really just use the normal cameras and crew that have been filming everything from the start, so they obviously know that they're on camera. I guess what they didn't know is that their bosses were right in the next room watching in real time. Not surprisingly, the staff complains mostly about the constant fighting between the owners. But most of the criticism seems to be directed at Grace, and she does not take it well. They say that she's really unpredictable and that she yells all the time. So in order to prove them wrong, she calls them liars and starts yelling. Gordon eventually goes back into the room where the bosses are watching and notices Grace crying. He asks her what's wrong, and she starts sobbing and screaming that she can't take it anymore. Gordon has a talk with her and manages to calm her down a little bit, and after that he gives the staff a pep talk and talks about how they need to work together and stop fighting. And Gordon also manages to get Luigi and Tony's mom and dad to record a video message that basically encouraged them to work together for the sake of the restaurant and stop fighting. And as per the show's usual formula, next is the part where they redesign the entire restaurant. They give the restaurant a more modern decor and they also come up with a new menu. Everybody seems really happy about the changes and they're excited about the relaunch service. The relaunch service goes mostly smoothly despite some issues with getting food out quickly. But overall, people seem to like the food. And lastly, the narrator tells us that after Gordon left, the restaurant got a great review from a local paper and that they are regaining the good reputation that they once had in the community. And that's how the episode ends. So did they manage to stay open? And did they keep Gordon's changes? While watching the episode, I seriously had my doubts. No offense, but I really doubted whether Grace was going to be able to control her temper and stop screaming f you at customers. The episode aired in 2011, and in October of 2011, the restaurant received a review from the OC Weekly. According to the narrator, it was a rave review. I actually found that original review they referenced in the episode, and it does praise the food pretty highly. Overall, it says that the old Luigi's sold kind of mediocre but still somewhat good Italian food, and that the writer had stopped eating there after finding a better Italian place. There were also two other articles published by the OC Weekly and written by different authors around the same time. The one that they mentioned in the episode and the second one were written before the episode aired. In the second one, the writer says, but since that time, and perhaps to mollify the regulars, the restaurant has gone back to offering its old menu in addition to Ramsey's. Overall, the writer in this article seems to think that the old menu is better than the one that Gordon came up with. They write, After the third visit and the disappointment of the short rib, I found myself gravitating toward the old menu, eager to repeat dishes such as the vermicelli bodak. It's also pretty clear based on this that they brought back their old menu. After reading several articles about Luigi's, there definitely seems to be a group that claims to love the old Luigi's more basic Italian food and a group that likes the fresher, more modern version better. But if they weren't making enough money with the old stuff, then what do you expect them to do? The third article about Luigi's from the OC Weekly was written after the episode aired on TV, and this reviewer had mixed opinions. In general, they seem to be against Gordon's changes though. They wrote, Happily though, there's a new sense of Calabrese pride in some of the dishes something that could only have come from the Catazonas. Ramsey was too busy trying to turn the restaurant into a carbon copy of every other Cal Italian restaurant in the Los Angeles area, with bizarre intrusions from other Italian traditions. Polenta? The next bit of news we have about the restaurant is from a post on the Luigi's Restaurant Facebook page dated June 25th, 2017. The post says that, unfortunately, Dominic, Luigi and Tony's dad, is sick and has a terminal illness. And sadly, on April 27th of 2018, they posted on their Facebook page that Dominic had passed away from the aforementioned illness. But in between those two posts, on September 5th of 2017, they announced that they were closing the doors of the original restaurant. But they weren't closing for good, they were just relocating. As far as the reason behind the change of location goes, this article from the Orange County Register says, Co-founder Luigi Catazzone said the property, which used to belong to the family, has been sold. He said a family dispute led to the property changing ownership. Beyond that, there aren't any concrete details about who the dispute involved or how it was resolved. I couldn't find any mention of this dispute anywhere else besides this article, so I assume that the writer heard it directly from the restaurant owners themselves. I do have some theories though. Just based on what we saw in the episode, I think it's highly likely that the dispute was between Luigi and Tony. And this dispute happened right around the time that their dad became terminally ill. So maybe the stress of that situation led to them arguing more, and eventually they decided to split up. Or maybe the dispute had something to do with Dominic's will and who was going to inherit the restaurant. 
or it could have been something totally unrelated. This is all just speculation, of course. We don't know for sure whether or not Tony continued working with Luigi at the restaurant after their move, but my bet is that he didn't, and I'll show you why in a minute. We do know for sure that Luigi is still running the place, though. On December 13th of 2017, Luigi's announced that they were open for business at their new location. It's a smaller location, and they shifted their focus more toward catering than in-house dining, but it's apparently the same restaurant. And believe it or not, they are still open to this day at that same location. Here's a picture of Luigi that they posted on Facebook, so I think we can safely say that he's still running the place. And here we can see a recent picture of the restaurant from Google Maps. But now let's go over to Yelp for a second because I came across this question and answer section and some people claim to know a little bit more about the dispute that caused their move. Obviously, these are random anonymous people, so we don't know for sure if they know what they're talking about, but let's just read and see what they have to say. One question asks, is this the one that was on Kitchen Nightmares? And someone answers, yes and no. Yes, some of the same people. The others moved on to other interests. No, not the same location. After closing the Anaheim location, Luigi and his wife Grace, who really have the passion in Italian food, went their own way and opened this location. And another person answers, Many things have changed. The show sort of ruined many aspects, but did have a few positive changes. Sadly, family squabbles got in the way. But since the brothers split and they brought back some of the things removed by the suggestion of the angry TV show host, it got so much better. It's really so sad they lost their lease and had to move to such a small location. But none of us or our friends are letting that stop us from returning. If you're picky or super demanding, I would say move along. But based on this and the fact that I didn't see Tony in any pictures on the restaurant's social media after they moved, I think it's most likely that Tony and his wife are no longer involved in the restaurant. I also found Tony's Instagram and some of his other social media, and there's not any recent posts about the restaurant or his brother. On his Instagram, he actually posted a picture of this golf course a few days ago as of writing this. Most of his posts are pictures of him at golf courses, or with him and his family on vacation, I assume. So I think the most likely scenario is that they did split up. But the restaurant does seem to be doing well. It's pretty impressive that they survived the pandemic. I guess the smaller building and the focus on catering probably helped them out a lot. So let's take a second to look at the restaurant's Yelp page and see what average customers think about the food. They have nearly 400 reviews and 4.5 and stars out of 5, which is pretty much as high as you can get when it comes to online reviews. There's really not too much to say about it except that both the food and the service has really good reviews. This person said that the cashier went to buy ingredients for a dish they didn't have on the menu just because they asked that they had it. One of the things I was the most curious about was if Grace was still screaming at customers like she did in the episode, or if she's still working as a server at all. I was really doubtful that she would be able to change and get her emotions under control. But apparently as of February, Grace is still working in the restaurant. One reviewer wrote, The wife is definitely much more polite and accommodating. Very different than how she was on the show. But then I knew better than to make any objections or turn my nose up at the food. Here's what some other people said about her. Grace was there to greet us and she was very pleasant. The owner Grace is such a sweetheart. Grace, our server, was extremely friendly. Grace was very welcoming and inviting. Grace was very friendly and so nice. Those were all from the last two years or so, and looking through all the most recent reviews, all the mentions of her that I saw were overwhelmingly positive. So maybe she did manage to get her anger under control. Or maybe she took those guests hostage and forced them to write good reviews about her. I also kind of wonder if she was just playing up her anger for the camera or something. The way she went ballistic was insane. I could pretty easily see it being some kind of an act. Though, I'm not sure why you would want your customers to think that you were completely unhinged. But whatever the case is, the majority of people like the food and say that Luigi and Grace are super nice. There are of course a couple of bad reviews mixed in. One guy claimed he got a screw in his food and almost ate it. I'm not sure what that is. It's not a screw. It almost looks like a drill bit or an end mill or something. But I would assume, based on all the other reviews, that that was just some kind of unfortunate accident. And that's pretty much the story for Luigi's. They managed to stay in business up until today and seem to have a pretty good reputation in the community. And we don't really know what Tony's up to. Maybe he's retired and spends his time golfing, or maybe he's in a different line of work. Like I said before, I was really surprised to find out that they stayed open. Based on all the fighting and gray screaming at the customers, I was positive that they weren't going to be able to pull together and stay in business. But maybe now that they have a less expensive location and Tony's not involved anymore, it works better for them. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.